by the Savior. You, you need to be saved. Number one, you cannot save yourself. Number two, Jesus has made provision for you for salvation. Number four, you must accept Jesus Christ for salvation. Now is the time to accept Jesus Christ, your Savior. Come to Christ. God said we all have fell short of all of his laws. We have broken his laws. If you have lied, have stolen, you have committed the adultery. That we all have broken God's law. The moral law, law not, not the moral laws, but the moral laws of God. For God has written the Ten Commandments on two tablets that he passed to Moses he had written with his own. Those are the laws that we have broken. You ever heard the word say we all have fell short of God's glory? That's talking about what? The Ten Commandments of his standards. No one else can be able to no one can be able to uh, keep them. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. But he also said if you have broken again one of those commandments, that you have broken all. What did Moses do when he came down? When he came down the mountain, 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 what did he see? Everybody was making the God suitable for himself. That he threw those commandments down and said, You have broken all of God's laws. That God had to remake those commandments all over again. So we are if God sends us today, we all to be guilty. But what are you can do? Not to spend eternal life in hell. That's a way you can be saved. That you cannot be able to spend eternal life down in hell. But you can spend eternal life in heaven. If I ask this question today, anybody out here know when they're going to die? Nobody can answer that question because I don't know myself. But like to me, everybody want to be able to get it right with the same when we gonna die. What if you leave this corner now and get hit by a car? Haven't got it right from the Savior. Come to Christ where well, there's a chance. You may not have a chance tomorrow. You know you're planning to say what I'm gonna do tomorrow. But it's God's will if you live tomorrow. You don't know. I don't know. I, but there's a local God up here saying, repent. Ask for forgiveness. You don't have to live in hell. Especially when God has made provision for salvation. The devil want to do three things, ladies and gentlemen. He don't want you to have no relationship with Christ. He come to do three things, to kill, steal, and destroy. He want your soul. He don't you. want you to have no personal relationship with Jesus Christ. That's what he wants you to do. He wants you to live in hell with him. You don't have to do that. But that's a savior. That God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son die upon the cross. Here is facing us from here. Come to Christ, ladies and gentlemen, where there's a chance. You don't have to live the way as the devil. We all need the Savior. Especially when we have broken God's law. Those commandments. We all have lied. We all have stolen. We all have committed the dungeon in the name of Jesus. Why we do we do give the devil so much credit and that will save him and save us from our sin. That we all need to save Christ who loved you. God so loved you. That's the reason he sent his that son to die for your sin, my sin, 
that we all need a savior. But we cannot save ourselves. We can wash ourselves from the outside, but we cannot wash ourselves from the inside. Those commandments will not save you, but in part of us, let us know that we sin against a holy God, a righteous God, the God of sin, judgment, the God who did a person. How are you living today? By the person of God, every breath you leave, live, breathe. That he did, that is God person. I'm not looking for justice, but mercy. I'm looking for his grace. God be mercy upon me. He's mercy on you. That you have life today through the Son Jesus Christ who gives that life. Come to Christ as Jesus. I did not come for the righteous but I came for sinners that we need a savior to be saved there's only five things you need to know here for a savior because you cannot save yourself but you can be saved God has made provision for salvation coming to Christ to live the way Jesus no man can proclaim his own righteousness, but to claim Jesus Christ's righteousness. You cannot be righteousness at all. Only way you can be righteousness, but through Christ Jesus Christ, a Savior, that who can save you from the blood of Jesus Christ. Repent. I just come to the cross. The one who loved you. That he can save you. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about a savior, Jesus Christ, who will provide a savior. You need a savior. You cannot save yourself. Jesus has provided salvation. You must accept Jesus Christ for salvation. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Acts 16, 31. When Paul was also in the prison, that he did not look on his circumstance, but he looked to the Savior, that they were singing hymns and praying to the Lord Jesus Christ. You do not have to look upon your circumstance, whatever you going through, you can look on the Savior that we all need a cross. When we have all broken God's moral laws, you ever heard in Romans 3, 23, that we all have fell short of God's glory. That's talking about God's standards that we did not keep. None of us have kept those standards. When we have lied, we have sinned, we have sinned against God. We have sinned against His Son, Jesus Christ. We have committed adultery. We have uh, used His name in vain. We have also have stolen. The Word of God is true. He's a faithful God. He's a loving God. He's a God of uh, mercy. In Ephesians 2, and four, he said, I am rich in mercy that call upon the Lord Jesus Christ, a savior. Your buddy can't save you. Your girlfriend cannot save you. Only way you can save is by faith. Faith alone, grace alone, through the Lord Jesus Christ, a savior. Forgiveness, repent from your sin that he died upon that cross, shedding his blood for you and me. Who else can do that? No one has that kind of power to, to save, be saved. 